I wanted to demonstrate one possible way of using the item analysis tool to help make some decisions of where to start with our instruction. So we've given the practice test and the item analysis tool you see here uh, is showing the uh, data based on two classes of English 2 students. Once we've gotten the data into, into the sheet to do some calculating for us, there's some modifications we can do to this tool to kind of help uh, bring to light some areas where we may want to start focusing our instruction. The first modification you may notice that I've already done is I've added to the RCPI headings here the percentage of the EOC based on our frameworks and standards tables the percentage of the EOC that each of these reporting categories represents. And I've also lined them up from left to right based on those percentages. So writing research 18 to 25 percent of the EOC will be writing and research questions down to language and so forth. Left to right, highest weight to lowest. The next modification I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of these column headings to make them stand out a little bit more. What I'm also going to come up here and do is I'm going to change the color of this title cell here just to keep it from blending in so much with the other blue. The next thing I'm going to do we see now that the item analysis tool has calculated the overall percentages. This is the average number of students that got all of the questions correct in this category. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these cells and then I'm going to paste them right back where they are but I'm going to paste them as only the values. That way when I get to filtering some things here in a little bit um, these values will stay there so I can see what those overall percentages are. I know that for this particular school last year they had roughly 59 percent of their students proficient or advanced in English 2. I want to filter by the percentage of students that got the questions correct. This school had 59 percent last year proficient or advanced so I'm going to filter this down for any question that less than 50 percent of the students got correct. The next thing I want to do is come over to the RCPI column and I'm going to do some highlighting in the body of this sheet based on these three colors that we added up here. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose my writing and research questions. So now when I filter that I have all of my writing and research questions that less than 50 percent of my students got correct on the practice test. So I'm going to simply highlight these the same color as this category so they'll stand out a little bit more. I'm going to do the same thing for my language category as well as the communications and media category. Okay, I've highlighted all three of these RCPI categories. I'm probably going to come over here now and take this yellow out uh, as well just to save our eyes from being worn out with so many beautiful colors on here. So now on the screen I see the questions that less than half of my students got correct on the practice test. And I also know that writing and research is the heaviest category on the EOC so I have colored those red. That's where I'm going to start first language is the next they're yellow and communication media is the next they're blue the reason I think it's important to go through these uh, practices of highlighting and weighting around the um, frameworks is because if we simply look at just the percentages that um, our students that got all of these questions correct in that category we might immediately want to go to informational text. That's the lowest. Only 21.4 percent of the students got all those questions correct. But when we put it in the context of inf informational text is the smallest portion of the EOC 
only 7 to 9 percent of the test will be informational text. I believe that will change our look and saying, well, yes, only 21.4 percent of the students got all of those questions correct, but 18 to 25 percent of our test is going to be based around writing and research, and these questions that are in red here less than half of my students got those correct. So I'm going to focus first on my red SPI, my yellow, and then my blue.